you said, Michael, Kevin writes a lot more songs than I do. Songs are a more daunting challenge. If I write one or two a year that I like, then I'm happy. But Kevin has this amazing gift of turning everyday experiences into universal thoughts that everybody could identify with. Could you elaborate? And Kevin, why does writing come so naturally to you when it comes so freaking hard to the rest of us? Well, the first thing that really, that you didn't, you didn't say this, Jerry, but when people come up and say, well, you're the real musician, I really, I'm offended by that because I'm a, I'm a very well-trained musician. I can write for an orchestra. I teach music, composition, orchestration, all that kind of stuff. But how good a musician you are has nothing to do with your training. And my brother is a superb musician, and he's always doing stuff musically that to me is non sequitur. In fact, I was teasing him today. He has this funny way of going from major chords to minor chords, which really is not the exact thing you're supposed to do. Uh, <laughs> if, you go, if you go to key of C, there are no flats or sharps, and you go to C minor, they're all of a sudden three flats. And it just, it's really fun to see him dig himself a hole and, uh, <laughs> and climb out of it, which he does every time. The other thing, um, the, the problem with songwriting as opposed to composition, which is what I do, I can, I have a spigot, I turn it on, I can write for the rest of my life constantly. All I'd have to do is sleep, I can wake up and write more music. Songs are different there. They have to be a collaboration between the emotion and the shape and the rhythm of the words and how it combines with the music. Um, and the way we write is what I would call a confessional songwriting style, where you're generally taking things out of your personal life and trying to capture them and deliver it into a song, and hopefully will will um, receive some kind of more universal meaning, so that you don't actually have to know what the song was about, and you can perceive it in your way. I mean, you know, it's those songs that you just connect to, um, and uh, writing a song is to me a very difficult thing because to get it right and as as Joe said, I you know, if I write one or two a year I'm fine. And Kevin historically has written more songs, but he sort of I sort of toned down a little bit. So we're I guess we're more more or less equal. And um, I just talked about Kevin's talents as a uh, as a musician but also as a lyricist. Um, sometimes I'm just profoundly affected by his lyrics and I, I know I was there for some of the stuff that he went through, and it doesn't matter whether you know that, but you know, one time I, we, I was feeling that we were not getting our due as a band, and I took a verse that Kevin wrote, and I sent it to the New York Times rock critic, and I said, I'd say what my name was, I just said, here is a lyric by a band. Um, you should listen to this, and of course I never heard anything back, but, <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm a very lucky person, now. you know, I'm, I'm really connected with a really brilliant person, and, and the problem with when that person also happens to be a movie star is people are so skeptical about how could someone being that good an actor, and how could they go into music and do that too? People don't want that, they're, they're very resentful of that, and I sort of, feel I'm um, carrying a little bit of a torch with a band because that really bugs me when people have expectations for you and they think that you will not be able to fulfill them. Um, for instance, I just got finished writing a cello concerto, but I'm a film composer and I know it's going to be, well, it's obviously going to be a concerto of film music, of which it is not, and I know I'm going to, I'm going to get a rub for that. And um, So anyway, I'm a lucky man to have my brother who's so brilliant as a songwriter and I hope that you guys check out some of the songs and, and uh, you know, love them the way I do. Very nice, thank you.